Oh, pulling over the smooth ice is so much better than pulling over the snow. Yeah! Too close? I like getting close. Welcome. That spin rider would be a little out of breath. Here we are on Lake Biddy McCoska, South Minneapolis. We're gonna put in some tip-ups. We're gonna put in some jigs. We're gonna make the most beautiful wild rice and ham soup that you've ever tasted. Join us on another episode of Shore Lunch with Nate P. This is the lake that used to be called Lake Calhoun. People decided that they didn't want their lake named after a slave-owning piece of shit, so they changed it back to the original indigenous name. You could definitely put the kayak on her. Rig rundown. I wonder how many of you guys do this, but in the winter time, I have a thousand different little jigs, and I'll put on one, and I'll end up leaving that guy on for the whole year. So silly. So there we go. I just got the line tied right to the jig. Fluger Presidente Ice Reel, it's one of my favorite ones. Rod is a St. Croix Mojo. Good tight jigging rod. People call them maggots, people call them spikes. I like to put three on there. Ready for some action? We got a good six to eight inches of ice out here. See how the bottom's kinda, see that blue line that's kinda fluttering? That means there's weeds on the bottom. Let's see what we can rustle up here. It's fucking cold out, man. The temperature said it was 20. It feels colder than that, though. The point of today's episode, the moral of today's episode, is having fun on the ice. I think sometimes people get a little bit too, this happens to me too, you get a little serious about catching fish and shit. And I think there's some big fish in this lake, and I think we're going to uh, do a little tip-up action here in about, uh, oh, I'd say right now. You ready for tip-up time? We have two people here with fishing licenses, which means we can fish with four lines since we're in the state of Minnesota. Two lines per one person for four lines total. That'll be three tip-ups, one jig and rod. What the hell? Hole one. Hole two. Hole three. Okay, let me grab my bait. Here's a pro tip for you when you're opening up your bait bag out on the ice. Make sure you get this rubber binder somewhere where it won't go all over the place. I got some fathead minnows and I got some suckers. That's gonna make for some engaging content, huh? We're kinda in shallow water, so I'm gonna set all of these nearish to the bottom. Okay, beastie boys. Number one, set. Number two. Number three over here. Look at that, 15 feet here. Let's get this guy on. We're all set. Now uh, I'm going to sit over here and uh, I'll drop a line and do some jigging. You can come with me. This one's 19 feet. Let's give this a shot here. Here comes a fish. There's one down there. Come on, honey. Take a little taste. Watch that rod tip. It's got to be like a tiny perch. It's so Come on now, take a bite. Gonna set the hook. Nope, he's gone. Little, little jerk. You're toying with my emotions here. We're gonna get one, Eric. There we go, fish on. It's a big one. <laughs> Have we caught a perch on shore lunch before? I'm sure of it. It's a beautiful little fish. Good bait for big northerns and stuff. It's got these neat stripes. Cousin to the walleye. So you know what we do to perches? We give them a bunch of kisses. We'll send him back. Woo! How about that? We got a fish. I think we're gonna hop to this little hole over here and see what's popping. Sometimes these fish just want a fresh look. See what we got down here. Weird, now this hole, we're not marking a damn thing. We got no movement on the, oh, wait. Come on now. Oh, here comes one, here comes two. Oh, one. Oh, there we go. Got him. Could be a record fish right here. Smallest perch known to human. What does his breath smell like? <laughs> Peppermints. Here. Bye. Oh, there we go. Mm. Flag. We got a flag up here. We're gonna pull it out and gently touch the line, okay?
Oh yeah, fish on. Fish on, it's not big. Holy shit, it's a little northern pike. Take a look at this guy. You wanna kiss him? Nice work. Look at how pretty that is. Oh jeez, Louise. We'll send him back and try to catch a bigger one. See you, buddy. <laughs> That's thrilling excitement right there. Tip-ups are set all over the place. And we've got our spread of food here to make the most beautiful wild rice and ham soup that you've ever had. Minus the carrot that I forgot. So there usually would be a carrot. There's not going to be today. Can I be frank with you? Since I got you right here, I've never made a soup before. Like I've, any soup? No, I've never made a soup in my whole life. I've made stews and chilies. Do you like mushrooms? Maybe leave that in the comments. We get some nice hearty mushroom chunks. We're gonna cut this onion up into nice manageable little pieces. Ah, oh, yeah. The sun just came out. It has been colder than shit all morning and now it's finally starting to feel good. In, beautiful. Boy, this Ronald's wrap sure comes in handy. Okay. Okay. I got some nice fresh garlic. I'm just gonna mince two cloves. Smash it a little bit, that'll help get the peel off. There we go. Need to fix the stove. Put a little more Ronald's on there. Look at the stove rocking. Don't knock the stove over. Butter's melting nice. The onions are starting to get a little translucent. I'm gonna add in the mushrooms. I'm gonna cook these down right in that nice butter mix. We're gonna salt every step of the way. Building layers upon layers of flavor. Nobody told me the goddamn parsley's freezing out here. It's frozen. Nothing but time on our hands. When you do your time, you can grab it by the top here and kind of gently take the little leaves off like that. I'm just gonna kind of break it up with my fingers a little bit. It's so cold, I can't even chop it. I'm just gonna throw it in. Wham! We're gonna let this all cook down really good. This is just pepper. This will take a little longer than I thought just because of the hell wind and the cold. I think we'll add the garlic now too. Things are getting juicy in there. Garlic burns real easy. So I'd like to get a little juice in the pan. Come here you. Look at it, it's like a garlic paste. That's gonna melt in and be such good flavor. Now, I'm gonna let this cook down for a little bit. You know, you guys stay good and quiet. I might take you all out for ice cream after this. Oh! <laughs> Don't put that, <laughs> you can put that in. You put in whatever you want, you're the director. What's happening? We're gonna make our roux. We're gonna add in some more butter. I got a half cup of flour here. We're putting in a little bit of the time as the butter melts and we're just gonna whisk it. Something else too I'm gonna add in real quick. Some of this beautiful sherry. Sherry's a fortified wine. Just gonna do a little deglaze here with that. Now it's time to start slowly adding in our chicken broth. It's starting to kind of look like soup. Oh, flag, did you just set that off with your foot? I might have. I, might I have think Eric it. bumped it with his foot. Son of a gun. I'm, I'm trying to block the goddamn wind. Don't show me being an asshole, Eric. How about that? Oh. Okay, we're gurgling, baby. We got it up to a boil. It's actually starting to thicken real nice. We're gonna add in our frozen wild rice. We're gonna add in our frozen ham. We're gonna add in some of these nice toasted almonds. And mix this up nice. A couple glugs of that there. Do a little more salt. Really cream this up with a little half and half. Oh, hello. I'm gonna put in this big knob of butter. Huh? What do you think? It's gonna shine it up and make this super rich. You know, for a guy that's never made a soup before, I gotta say, this looks pretty fucking good. It's the best soup I've ever made. We're gonna garnish just a little bit of the extra toasters on there. You always gotta have a little hot sauce in your soup. First taste. This is a hearty bowl of soup. There's nuttiness in so many different levels. The wild rice, the almonds, 
the little chunks of mushroom and then that ham. The sherry uh, brought a beautiful acidity to the whole thing. We have a beautiful fork cam sponsor for you today. Crybaby Craig's, the most beautiful local hot sauce. It's one of my favorites. Let's see how soup works with fork cam. It's really good hot sauce. It's so good. It's the hot sauce I crave. It's a thick enough soup too, you can get a pretty good bite of the pork. This soup turned out really good for my first soup. Today was great. We kicked ass, caught some fish, new body of water we never been on before. Get out to the ice yourself, sign up for Patreon, join us on Instagram. I've been Nate P and this has been Shore Lunch. See you again. Ta -ta. I got bad fishing in my system. Bluegill gonna be my victim. I got bad fishing in my system. Why I gonna be my victim? I got bad fishing in my system.